So in this video we will see 6th standard science unit 1. The name of the unit is the living world of plants. Book back questions with answers. Pond multiple choice ex questions. First one. Pond is an example of freshwater habitat. The important function of stomata is transpiration. Organs of absorption root. The habitat of water hyacinth is aquatic. Next we will see true or false. If false give the correct answer. First one. Plants can live without water. False. Reason. Plants cannot live without water. All plants have chlorophyll. True. Plants have three parts. Root, stem and leaves. True. Mountain is an example for fresh water habitat. False. Reason. Rivers, ponds, lakes and pools are the example for freshwater habitat. Mountain is an example for terrestrial habitat. Next. Root is modified into spines. False. Reason. Leaves are modified into spines in the plant cactus. Green plants need sunlight. True. Next topic. Fill in the blanks. Earth surface is covered by dash of water. 70% Or in the other way we can say. More than 70% The driest places on the earth are. Deserts. What is the spelling of desert? D-E-S-E-R-T-S. Yes. Fixation and absorption are the main functions of root. Primary organs of photosynthesis are leaves. Taproot system present in dash plants. Dicotyledonous plants. Let me ask you another question. Fibrous root present in monocotyledonous plants. Good. Match the following. First one. Mountain. Himalayas. Desert. Dry place. Stem. Branches. Photosynthesis. Leaves. Fibrous root. Monocot. Next topic. Arrange in correct sequence. Let me read the incorrect sequence. You, you say me the correct sequence. First one. Leaf, stem, root, flower. Root, stem, leaf, flower. Second sequence is. Transpiration, conduction, absorption, fixation. Fixation, absorption, conduction, transpiration. Next topic, very short answer. First question, classify the plants on the basis of their habitat. The two major habitats. First one, aquatic habitat. Second, terrestrial habitat. Aquatic habitat is classified into two. They are Freshwater habitat, marine water habitat, terrestrial habitat is classified into three. They are forest habitat, grassland habitat and finally desert habitat. Next we will move on to the next question. Identify the desert plants from the following. So they have given four plants. They are asking us to find which plant grows in desert. Cactus, Hydrilla, Mango and Rose. Answer. Cactus plants grow in deserts and are able to store water in their stem. Third question. Define the term habitat. A dwelling place of an animal, plant or other organism to live and reproduce is called habitat. So next question. Relate the terms leaves and photosynthesis. Leaves are green in color. They have chlorophyll and do photosynthesis. So next topic is short answer. Seventh topic. Why do you call jasmine plants a twinner? 
Jasmine jasmine plant has weak stem it cannot stand straight on its own it must climb on any support to survive so jasmine plant is called as twiner also for extra you could add an example for a twiner the answer is clitoria yes compare tap root and fibrous root system so compare difference distinguish if these type questions are asked you draw a tabular column first column you write the first heading and second column you write the second heading in the opposite sides you you write the answers okay so here the heading is tap root system and here you have fibrous root system so tap root system tap root system single root which grows straight down into the ground fibrous root system cluster of roots arising from the base of the stem tap root system has smaller roots fibrous root system has thin roots tap root system are seen in dicotyledonous plants fibrous root system are seen in monocotyledonous plants the main examples of tap root system are bean mango neem okay Uh, the example for fibrous root system are grass paddy maize etc so third question again distinguish between terrestrial and aquatic habitats okay again draw a tabular column first column is terrestrial habitat second column is aquatic habitats terrestrial habitat they are found on land aquatic habitat they are found in water terrestrial habitat they include desert grassland forest farms towns and cities aquatic habitats they include areas permanently as well as occasionally covered by water terrestrial habitat they are classified into three types such as desert habitat grassland habitat and forest habitat aquatic habitat they are classified into three types such as fresh water habitat and marine habitat terrestrial habitat there are so many examples for terrestrial habitat the main examples are rubber tree dig tree neem tree so example for aquatic habitats are lily lotus marine algae next question list out the plants present in your school so this may vary according to the school we have mentioned some of them they are mango tree neem tree water lily hibiscus next i think this is the last topic answer in detail make a list of functions of root and stem first write functions of the root functions of the root fixes the plant to the soil absorbs water and minerals from the soil stores food in some plants like carrot beetroot functions of the stem supports the branches leaves flowers and fruits transports water and minerals from roots to upper aerial plant pods transports the prepared from from leaves to other parts through stem only stores food as in the case of sugar cane next question is study the given concept map connect them correcting by drawing arrow marks complete the map by filling in the blanks so this is the flow chart this is the chart given in the uh, textbook okay so we have to fill these places these gaps these blank spaces with the correct answer okay so uh, can you guess the answer yes i can absolutely guess i think this one might be desert this one forest so coming to fresh water habitat it must have been this lakes and this ponds okay let us check the answer as we studied the differences between terrestrial and aquatic habitats terrestrial habitat 
has three types one is grassland forest and desert and aquatic habitat is divided into fresh water and marine in which fresh water is divided into river lake and pond okay these are the answers thank you for watching this video for any other videos or any other subject topics please comment in the comment section we have prepared answers as earlier as as possible so that the students can study easily so all the best study well so don't forget to support subscribe and share and don't forget to click the bell button and like and please comment thank you for watching this video